disclaimer, I do not work for Cosmos. Uh, this is not investment advice. This is simply my opinion about this project. Please do not invest more than you're willing to lose. Hello everybody. I just wanted to do a video about one of my favorite projects in crypto right now and in blockchain, uh, Cosmos. Uh, Cosmos Network, as they call themselves, is uh, connected blockchains, the internet of blockchains. Um, and what they try to achieve is to solve a few of the basic most important problems of blockchain and digital ledger systems which is ambitious to say the least um, so what is it it's basically a, a developer platform to create and connect different blockchain projects um, and what they try to solve are a few of the big problems like scalability um, the proof of work protocols are pretty slow like bitcoin of course um, and using the, their pl underlying platform tendermint uh, they create a secure consensus protocol uh, using something they call bonded proof of stake uh, basically in simple terms it, it they take care of the consensus and the blockchain part you could say a little bit and create an api uh, to create your own platform on top of their software um, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time basically because that's what a lot of blockchain projects are doing they're creating their own chain their own unique ecosystem that they, that can't connect to other systems which is an issue another issue they are trying to solve is usability uh, by creating a, a developer friendly standard basically to work on uh, much like HTML or CSS or JavaScript tries to do for coding they try to do for this blockchain ecosystem uh, modular elements to build your own blockchain basically and interoperability so allowing blockchain economies to to talk to each other to connect uh, which will hopefully create a whole new system ecosystem of, of elements so that's in a nutshell my basic explanation about what cosmos is uh, a powerful platform with a very ambitious goal of connecting the blo blockchains of this time and hopefully creating a whole new token si economy a token system for more uh, scalable projects so let's go to the, the subject of most people are immediately asking like what's the coin where can i buy it uh, the the coin of cosmos will be atom and uh, atoms are not do not exist yet uh, the launch, uh, as you can see here on the Cosmos Network slash launch, will be in two days uh, and seven hours. Um, today's uh, the 11th of March, 2019, so that's uh, Wednesday for me uh, the launch will be. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been over two years since the fundraiser. Um, but basically what this launch means, uh, the, the main blockchain, the network, um, is not not live yet it's not active so the coins do not exist so it, uh, if you see anywhere coins atoms trading for cosmos that's simply not possible so it's either a scam or they're just selling um, um how would you call it uh, uh, um, an iou uh, coin so that's basically you have to trust them totally that they will give you the coin at some point which i would never do in my opinion so uh, please be uh, careful about that um so here's on this page is some information of what will happen after launch with some frequent asked questions. Can you look at this? And please note that only the official channels for Cosmos are will have official information. This is a much anticipated launch, so please be careful with scammers. Um, some information about the fundraiser. Uh, the fundraiser was on April 6, 2017. So it's been a long, long wait over two years um, and they raised uh, almost 5,000 Bitcoin and 250,000 almost Ethereum uh, which would make at that time the price the ICO price for each atom uh, 10 cents in dollar so um, that's basically the, 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 the price that people are looking at 10 cents is, is the value of the investment at that time um, so only a few people there was only uh, 1,090 people who uh, who were able to do the fundraiser so you had to be quick and this is a very long much anticipated uh, event basically so again the coins do not exist yet they can't be traded yet and even after the launch date in a, in a few days uh, the coins won't be able to be transferred uh, they need to 
first uh, get, uh, how do you say, uh, approved by the, the holders uh, in phase two. If you can go to this site, the three phases of the Cosmos Hub mainnet, we're almost entering uh, phase two. Uh, so the launch will be here, and then we will have phase two. And once mainnet is deemed sufficiently stable, the atom holders that are already on there can vote to make the atoms transferable. And once they're transferable, you can trade them, of course. Um, so the next big question of everybody is, where can I buy them once they're tradable? Well, we don't know. Uh, there are a lot of rumors about some big exchanges you will that will use it. I think Binance will be supporting it because Binance has created the Binance DEX um, on the SDK. Um, so it would be pretty strange if they used this technology <laughs> for their own software. Uh, if you can look here, ecosystem, the Binance chain will be using uh, Tendermint. So it makes sense that they would trade it. Uh, there are a few Asian exchanges that will be using it, and there are rumors that Kraken will be uh, will be actually validating for the Cosmos ecosystem. I'll talk about that in a in a minute. So there are still rumors, but there's no certainty yet where it's going to be exchanged. So we really don't know yet. Uh, I assume it's going to be pretty popular, fairly quickly. Um, so yeah. By the way, on this page, ecosystem on the Cosmos website, you can see all the projects that are already using this platform. Some really cool projects like Sentinel, Loom, um, Terra looks very ambitious, uh, IrisNet for the Chinese markets, uh, and Binance, of course. Uh, so that makes it pretty impressive for a system that's not let not yet live yet. So uh, what is it again? Let's have a look. This I like this image. Uh, this image comes from uh, this article, uh, a deep look into Cosmos, the Internet of Blockchains. And it's a kind of a nice visual. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, the core is basically the Tendermint consensus. So they built the system that has all the consensus, and that's basically the main thing about blockchain, right? How to to make sure data is correct and secure and and not not tampered with. And these things around here are the validators. So these are the the big computers. Basically, you could call them computers. The big server parks, of course, big companies that will support it, and they will approve each each block or reject it and as long as there's enough consensus between all the validators then um, then like with Bitcoin uh, it will get approved and it will go to the Cosmos Hub and then you have a new block basically um, each validator has a lot of smaller parts below it and they're called delegators and that's what that's what I will be uh, I will stake my atoms at various validators uh, and the more atoms are staked at the validator, the more voting power it will have in the system. So it's a different view on how to validate and decentralize blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, works with miners, which costs a lot of energy. Um, and some would argue that proof of work, as Bitcoin uses, is, is kind of wasteful and, and especially vulnerable to centralization, maybe, or, or bad actors. Uh, this is proof of stake. So the, the more coins you have, the more power you have. So it's not about mining power and computer power, but it's about holding the asset. And um, Cosmos has a very special, unique way of structuring the validation and the proof of stake uh, to prevent tampering and to promote holding it. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen long term with this project, uh, how the validators are going to work, uh, how the delegators are going to use their atoms, are they going to sell it a lot or are, gonna, are they going to stake it? Um, within the Cosmos protocol, there's a high incentive to stake and not to trade the atoms or to, to just keep them in a wallet because there's a lot of inflation, um, uh, a lot of reward. If you're not staking, you're missing out on the reward because uh, if you're staking or, or delegating um, there's a between I believe 7 and 20 percent reward per year um, so and depending on how much of the atoms are actually staked um, and even the, that percentage can change uh, with voting but the, the, the incentive to to stake your atoms is pretty high um, so they're hopeful that a lot of a lot of high percentage of the atoms will actually be staked at validators uh, securing the network and giving it value. 
So that's my, my high level view of it. And then on top, the core of course, Cosmos Hub is the center around other projects can work and they can use the technology. And even other cryptos, other coins can connect to the Cosmos Hub and via, they call it pegs. Um, so you can literally input basically Ethereum or Bitcoin or some other crypto and use it within the Cosmos ecosystem, uh, which is the part of connecting the different projects. So it, in potential, it's very ambitious, very, yeah, I like it. It's, it, it's very, it's very science fiction basically almost. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see what this, this platform can create in the future. So a little bit about good information about Cosmos, if you want to read up about it. Uh, there are a few articles I really like. Uh, this is a good one, uh, the three phases of the Cosmos Hub mainnet. This is uh, on the blog of Cosmos itself. I'll put the link in the descriptions. And it describes in a good way the three phases. So the first phase is getting name network stability. So soon the network will be live and they're gonna run it basically. Uh, and the tokens will not be transferable yet because they want a stable system. They're going to check everything. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it, it, sh it, should be, it should be okay, but we'll see. Um, and they say already what this means for users. We do n you do not trade atoms here. Th this is the phase we're in. Atoms don't <laughs> exist yet. They're, it's not live. It's, you can't trade them. You can't buy them yet. So please watch out for scammers because it's going to be very, very risky. Um, in this phase, we will be able to delegate our atoms, so they will be released, basically created, but they, they can't be transferred yet. Uh, about delegating, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk a little bit later. Um, so and in phase two, the transfers will be enabled. This will take a little bit of time and a voting, so not sure how long this will take. Could be two, three, four weeks, maybe longer after launch, nobody really knows. Um, because atom holders, the bonded atom holders, so the validators themselves basically, will be able to vote if they think it's safe enough and good enough now to transfer it. Because once you transfer the f atoms, it will be tradable. And once they're tradable, you're vulnerable uh, should, should anything bad happen, of course. Um, so yeah, and after this phase three is IBC enabled. Um, and this is a boat uh, uh, protocol. Uh, where they can vote for on-chain governance. So this will be the thing that um, you'll be able to transfer tokens in and out of it. Uh, and this will really make the platform come alive basically with all kinds of features. And after this, it's yeah, it's, it's on with the races. We'll see where this platform evolves and uh, the potentials are fairly high. But as with all ambitious projects, the, the risks are pretty high as well because we're going to unknown in unknown territory here probably with um, connecting blockchains we don't really know yeah how, how what the results will be of several projects it's like finding out about the internet basically the idea of connecting computers with each other and like 10 years ago predicting stuff like facebook or or netflix or twitter uh it's, it's just not we can't really uh, understand what will happen here so what would you compare Cosmos to? I, I would say uh, Polkadot is, is, a, is a similar project that tries to connect several blockchains, but it's far away. Uh, Polkadot is probably not live for another two years, maybe more. So the Cosmos is definitely first mover. Um, so a good source is of course the blog, Cosmos Network. Uh, you can check out all their information. Uh, another good article is this one, The Hitchhiker's Guide to Cosmos. This was just released. It's a more high level overview of what Cosmos is. Um, so please have a look at this, uh, about what bonded proof of stake means, uh, how, how the staking actually works, which is pretty technical, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it's testing out how the system will work uh, with inflation and uh, how to prevent scams and, and issues with other, that are happening with other blockchain projects. Uh, if you really want to have a good overview, please view this video from Sony Agravol from the from the Cosmos team. Intro to the Cosmos Network. It's over two hours, <laughs> so it's a long video, but it's very very good. It explains everything basically. So yeah, have a look at that. Um, 
So the final part I discuss in this video, to not make it too long, is about validating. So basically, if you're an atom holder, if either if you did the fundraiser and you have atoms, uh, once you get them after the network goes live, we'll be able to valid to stake them with validators. Uh, validators are big companies, serious businesses that will be validators for the uh, for the Cosmos Hub, and we can we can delegate our tokens there. And in exchange, we get a reward in the form of new atoms, which is kind of a lot because the uh, inflation is so high. Uh, the, there are a lot of new atoms created constantly, depending on how much atoms are delegated. Um, so it, it's 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 worth your while to to if you're not selling or trading it to to delegate your atoms. Um, but there's another level here because the validators have a pretty cru crucial role in the system, right? Uh, the, the Tendermint consensus is, evol is, is, is dependent on the validators doing their work and being secure and online and, and, and doing their work correctly. So there's in the system uh, a thing called, um, a thing called slashing. Um, and slashing means that the validators can be punished if they do their work, if they don't do their work correctly. So you can actually lose atoms if you delegate your atoms at the wrong validator. So it makes sense to not delegate your atoms at one validator, but to have several of them, to pick a few of them. So I'm going to show a few of them. I like uh, Forboli, uh, Mifos, uh, Certus One, and Cosmos Station. Uh, these are just my picks. There are a lot of them. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to separate my atoms in four or six validators uh, and delegate that way. So yeah, you can delegate your atoms and you get staking rewards. And especially Cosmos Station is we're doing hard work. They actually have a wallet already. Um, this wallet can be used for staking, uh, and they say, of course, that it's uh, secure and. But from Cosmos themselves, they, the team they say, well, wait for our own wallet which is going to be a voyager i'll put it in the description as well the user interface for the cosmos hub but this one will not be ready right away after launch um, but if you're not very technical i highly recommend to just wait till this one comes live it says here already this is alpha level do not enter your seed uh, your fundraiser seed to so the 12 words you got uh, at the fundraiser don't don't add it here yet don't put it in the wallet of Cosmos Station either yet. Wait till it's live. Um, I would say just wait a bit till everything is sh working and secure before you enter your your real seat anywhere because yeah, it's it's still risky and it's all new. Um, you might miss miss a few rewards, but long term it doesn't matter. I think I did test this out already on Android. It's very very nice. It's a very good wallet. It shows their dedication. Um, they also have a calculator. So let's say you have uh, 10,000 atoms. And you can see for year, you earn about 700, 700 atoms, 7% 7 interest. That's that's their estimate. It's not sure. Of course, the big question will be how much US dollar will one atom be in a year or whatever. That's, that's uh, the big one. I think it's an interesting um, investment long term. So uh, yeah, that that I would recommend. Uh, check out the different validators for Cosmos, um, and spread your your atoms uh, around a little bit. It's also better for the platform itself because Cosmos is dependent on, of course, like any blockchain, on a good de decentralization. If everybody would put their atoms at one validator, this whole system would not work. So it, it's pretty important to stake your atoms and at several validators. So that's the main overview for me. Uh, it's one of the most ambitious projects I know at this time and uh, very excited about the launch and uh, have a good day.